വെൽക്കം ടു ഡി റൈറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഒരാളോടി ഹലോ ഹലോ നമസ്കാരം പുള്ളിക്കാരനാണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ആക്ച്വലി യു കെയിൽ പഠിക്കാൻ വരുമ്പോൾ ഏതൊരു യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിൽ വന്നാലും അവിടെ ഒരു ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ഓഫീസറുണ്ട് ആ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ഓഫീസറിൻ്റെ മെയിൻ പരിപാടി എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിൻ്റെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ നോക്കുക അതായത് സ്കോളർഷിപ്പ് അക്കോമഡേഷൻ അല്ലെ അഡ്മിഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് അങ്ങനെ എന്തുമാകാം ഇത് നോക്കുകയാണ് അവരുടെ മെയിൻ പരിപാടി അങ്ങനെ ഞാൻ പഠിച്ച യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിൽ സീനിയർ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ഓഫീസർ മിസ്റ്റർ ജോർഡൻ ആണ് നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഉള്ളത് the uk british education system and getting that masters level of study in the uk for an indian graduate you know it's going to set them apart from the competitors from their other classmates that maybe just go on straight into work you know if you can have show that uk education experience um and the skills and interpersonal skills that you that you pick up as well as that then it's really going to help you with your studies you know yes you would get a timetable a schedule but it's not going to be an hour of lectures and another hour of lectures and just completely theory based so not only is it inside the classroom learning but it's outside the classroom learning work experience making sure you know how to use different equipment you know depending on what what course you're studying and in terms of staying back after you've graduated as well the UK government recently announced the graduate immigration route so it's is what used to be referred to as a post study work visa very similar and basically this says that if you graduate after summer 2021 then you'll be allowed to stay in the UK for up to 2 years to actually find a job or to work in the UK in any sort of field it doesn't need to be related to your master's degree actually i've sat in uh, another online session today with um UK VI and British Council um and they informed us that the um, graduate immigration route is definitely still on they still have said that it would still be for students that graduate after summer 2021 yeah when you're talking about cost you have to remember there's the tuition fee cost and the living expenses okay tuition fees for each university does vary uh, i would say a typical masters level um fee for the one year would probably be around 15,000 pounds. However, bear in mind that different universities may be higher, some may be lower. Living expenses again can be difficult. Now, depending on which university you're applying for, this would this amount would change mainly due to whichever location it is. For example, in the north of England, the typical amount is 9,135 pounds for one year's worth of accommodation. The UK government said you need to show this amount plus your tuition fee to be able to apply for your visa. The scholarships can further reduce that tuition fee amount up to 50% of the tuition fees reduction. So it might be 3000 pounds, 5000 pounds. The the amount can really really vary. Some universities when you make the application using your scores and your uh, academic your professional background university may actually automatically assess you for one of their scholarships okay so then when you receive the offer letter they would say congratulations you have been awarded this scholarship and this this amount has been reduced from your tuition fee the uk universities are good at knowing the the high quality standard of students from across india and from the kerala region and many universities will actually offer ielts exemption if you have your standard 12th english at say 70% from the kerala state board for example okay not all universities will have that but for the university you're applying for it's definitely worth asking that question at least there are lots and lots of part-time job opportunities in the uk it uh, depends again if you're studying in a big city like manchester for example there's so many different shops restaurants sporting venues a lot of the students i know that study uh, in manchester around salford manchester they would actually work at old trafford 
Some universities have made the announcement that they're going to um, only do online teaching, say, for, for the whole 2020-2021 intake, uh, for that whole academic year. Others have said, well, the first few months, so maybe from September to January, will be online. And then others have said, um, you know, actually, there's just going to be a one week delay to the start date of, of the September intake. So it really, really does vary from university to university. So my advice would be to check the universities, uh, whichever university you're applying for, check the international website. The universities now will have an international dedicated page on their website. That could result in a reduction in the number of European students coming to study in the UK, which therefore would mean that UK universities are trying more hard to get international students they might start offering scholarships, more scholarships for international students. That would then also potentially mean that there's less European students applying for part-time jobs, applying for work after the graduation. So for me, it's probably more positive than anything else. Firstly, what is the subject ranking? Secondly, what is the job opportunities? So. Do you get a placement as part of the, the, um, the master's degree or the bachelor's degree? Thirdly, I would say, does the university have close connections to uh, industry, to business in that field? Um, because if they do, then it might be that they bring, they have showcase events on campus, a great opportunity for you to hand your business card out and potentially meet your future employer. There's lots of things that, that really that can affect what, where you can find the best university in the UK. But the main thing is, is to ask somebody who knows what they're talking about. But thank you for spending time with us. And before winding up, I want to teach you one more Malayalam word, Nanni. Nanni. So hopefully once this, uh, this situation that we find ourselves in is over, then, you know, I can get back out to Kerala and um, travel around some more. Um, I absolutely loved it there. And everyone I meet, I'll be able to say Nanni too. <laughs> yeah, Nanni. <laughs>